morning, tiny travelers. It's Miss Sarah, and this month we're going to travel to the continent of Asia. And while we're there, we're going to actually create paper fire breathing dragons. So your kit is going to include a toilet paper roll. Um, you'll have some tissue paper. It won't be cut up. You'll have to do that yourself, but it'll come with both red and yellow. You'll have your construction paper, some googly eyes, some pom-poms. You will need your own scissors and you will need your own glue, but you'll have everything else that you're going to need to make your paper fire breathing dragon. The first thing you're going to do is take your toilet paper roll and whatever color construction paper that it comes with. Mine is red, so I'm gonna make a red and red and my pom-poms are pink, so I'm gonna make a red and pink dragon, but yours might be green, it might be purple. Dragons come in all different colors, so don't worry if yours isn't red. So the first thing you're going to do is we're going to roll our construction paper over our toilet paper roll so that we can give our dragon some color. And it's a little bit long, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna just glue it. So I'm gonna just take my glue stick here and you don't need too much, but enough to make your paper stick. And you're just going to hold it there for a second so that you can make sure that the glue is good to go. So while we're doing that, we can talk about how Asia is actually our largest continent. It has the Great Wall of China, the Taj Mahal, the Dead Sea, and of course the Arabian Desert. So it stretches a long way. And we're making dragons because pretty much every part of Asia has some form of dragon that goes into their history. Mostly Western Asia, they believe their dragons are actually thought to be evil, while the Eastern Asia dragons are thought to be good. So that's why during Lunar New Year, um, which is today actually, so it's perfect time to make these dragons, Lunar New Year is celebrated mostly in Eastern Asia, even though all of Asia has some form of it, it's just celebrated during a different time. Uh, they celebrate it during the first full moon. It's where there's normally parades and they have dragon puppets and people are dancing and making noise and it's a whole lot of fun. So if you have a chance to create your dragon today, you'll be just in time for the Lunar New Year for Eastern Asia. But now that our glue is dry, we can get to the next part. So you're going to want to take all of your tissue paper and make sure that you cut it into little pieces. So next you're going to make sure that your strips of tissue paper are cut up. I liked to make a lot of mine with a little point, kind of like a little icicle. So square at the top and then gets to a point, just kind of like a fire flame. Uh, but you don't have to, you can cut it in any size you want. Um, and you can put it in any order that you want. I just like to do yellow, red, yellow, red, yellow, red. Once you have that cut, I find that it's easier if you take your glue stick, if you have a glue stick or glue gun, to not actually glue the tissue, but to glue the surrounding part of your toilet paper roll. So if you see in there, you could just glue, glue right on the inside not too far down, but enough so that your tissue paper will stick. That way, when you put it in, your tissue paper is less likely to break and rip. So you're just going to place it in there, just like that. And you're gonna go all the way around. So next I'll put a red one in. And they can slightly overlap. You should have enough that um, you'll be able to um, have lots of flames. So I'm just going to paste those all on and you can make your flames any size that you want. All right, almost done. And if you find that the glue isn't sticking up, you can put it on your tissue paper. Just be very gentle because it can tear very easily. So once that's done, I flipped all of mine over to make sure that the glue is is working so you can see it'll look like that all the way inside all the way around and you can flip it kind of looks like a little jellyfish 
while your glue is drying there, you're going to take your pom-poms. You have two different sizes. You're going to take the two large ones. Those are going to be the place for your dragon's eyes. So what we're going to do is just glue on the little googly eye. If you find that it has trouble sticking, you, if your parents have a glue gun, you can have them help you that way. Um, but otherwise, a glue stick works just fine. So, now you have your two pom-poms with the googly eyes on them, and we're going to just place them very gently with a little bit of glue. It might be easier to glue the paper. You're going to put it right on the edge just like that and you're going to hold it there for a few seconds because it is going to be a little difficult to stick. So that's what my guy looks like. And then you're going to take your small little pom-poms and we're going to put those on the tip near the fire flames to look like his nostrils. So just like the other one, you're going to either glue the pom-pom or glue the little bit on the end of your toilet paper roll and we're just going to hold it there for a second. Now even though our dragon is breathing fire, most of the dragons in Asian folklore actually don't breathe fire. Most of them are snake-like and are more for water so they wouldn't even breathe fire but ours is gonna breathe fire because it's really neat. So that's it. This is our little fire breathing dragon and you just blow in it and you can make your dragon breathe fire. So that's what we have today for a craft. Um, don't forget to stamp your passport and we'll see you next month, Tiny Travelers, for our next continent. Have a great day, guys.